everybody. Uh, welcome back. Okay, I've got the final journal to share with you guys. Um, I've got it complete now. Um, you've seen kind of the process start to finish. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time on the embellishments because like I said, there's so many tutorials out there for that. Um, I just didn't feel like there was a need to, to spend much time on that, but I want to show you how it's ended up really chunky. This is two signatures. Um, it's in excess of 96 pages. And we're just going to get started here. Um, you saw how we completed this. Um, and it's got the fabric uh, pocket. I did a little bit of embellishing here. Created a tag. Here I've got a little tuck spot with another little journaling card tucked in there. Here I've done a little bit of collaging on the edge of the page. Got some lined paper in here. Um, a couple of pockets here that I've made. And these are out of tea dyed papers. I think this has got a mix of tea and coffee dyed. And then there's another little handmade pack tag. And just little bits of uh, lace that I had. And then I fussy cut some flowers there, or roses. And then on this page, I've got another um, collage cluster up here with a, a butterfly cut out with a safety pin. This is just a little journal card. And then this will flip up so you can do some some more writing here. Did some uh, printing on this glassine bag. So you've got a tuck spot there. And then this is a really old uh, book page and I've just added a little ticket to it. Like a little ticket tab. And then this one, I've got a large journaling card. And then here I've got a couple other bits of the ephemera. And then this is a stamped tag. Uh, this is a really old button here. And then bits of uh, vintage laces that I've collaged there. Did some stamping here, um, some stitching. This is a uh, piano music paper that I made into a little pocket here. I just did, um, you know, another little cluster there. And then this is just a, a little um, accordion type tag holder in, in each of these pockets. I've got a, um, a little journal card in each of these that I've just tucked in there and then I just stamped on this one. And then I did a bit of stitching, you know, to separate each of the little pockets. So, like I said, each one of these has got a little tag inside. Sorry, these are just it's a little bit fiddling. I don't know. There's another one. It's always this way when you're on the camera, isn't it? You can never get these to come out like they should. <laughs> Anyways, I'll come back to those. <laughs> so that's tucked in there. And that can be moved, obviously, throughout the journal. Um, old doily. Or, you know, paper doily, not, not fabric. And then here's just another little writing space. And then I love how this came out. This is some old lace. And then I've got just bits of um, papers. And then I, this was a, another bit from the um, Calico Collage uh, kit I had left over. Another little um, collage page edge decoration. Another little tag, and then I've got some old buttons. 
on this little bit of uh, snippet. And then here I've made a, a music sheet pocket, and then you've got um, the journal card tucked inside there. I love that image. The bird is beautiful. Here I've done um, an embossed uh, pocket, and then another little journal card, and this is a tiny journal card just tucked in there. I cannot believe how full this journal got, um, but that happens sometimes. Here, this flips over, so you've got some private writing there. I've done stenciling throughout, stamping, and then this is the center of the signature, and that opens out. So you can see the Edith Holden page there. A bit more stenciling. Um, this is one of my pockets with the doily sandwiched, um, it, and I did it on top of some craft paper, and it's really made those um, doilies stand out even more. So I've got another little journal card in there, and then this is one of the tags that I created from the um, the technique following Yvonne's tutorial on... Um, you know, how I made the cover. I just carried on and made a couple of tags for this. And this is some tracing paper that's been uh, coffee dyed, and then I did some stamping on it. And this is another, the other side of the uh, music envelope that I've made, and that's all been um, cut with punches and then machine stitched around it. And then on this one, I've got an old aged, um, paper clip, and that's holding the, um, this is one of the Edith Holden book pages that I've just made into an envelope, and I did some collaging here, so that's all being held with the um, paper clip. Handmade paper, um, in case you wanted to do some mixed media. And that's a really heavyweight paper. And this page, we've got a journal card. I believe that's an Artie Mays journal card. And then this is one of the little lavender sachets. So when you get to this page, it's really fragrant with the lavender. Some more machine stitching here. And then another tag that's been tucked in here. As you can see, it's full of roses. Um, the other side of that old book page, and there's a, um, the other side of the uh, bag. Sorry about the noise in the background. I've got uh, things being printed, so I just had to go ahead and do this uh, flip through quickly. This is um, leftover from uh, Dreams Etc. Her Oh, I can't remember. Cottage garden or something kit. Um, this was left over, so I tucked that in there. And then this is a stamped image that I've created a little tag out of. That's tucked in. More collaging. And this page, we just got more um, journal cards. And then on the back of this, I made a little handmade tag that's been tucked in there. Lots of stitching in this journal. And then this page is a uh, flip out that I've just um, punched out and then I made another pocket here with a journal card and some little embellishing there. So there's lots of little secret places for writing in this one. And aren't the papers beautiful? Here you've got more journal cards, and like I said, most of these are just uh, left over from kits that I've used in the past, and um, I'm just really trying to dwindle down everything. This is another um, calico collage journal card that's tucked in there. This is a fussy cut and added to that, so you've got a nice big pocket there. That's a fabric ruffle, if I didn't point that out. Now this page, I've just made a couple little tuck spots here, and uh, some more stamped 
tags and then I just wanted something a little bit different so I like the way those are tucked in there and they're kind of hanging over the pad page okay this page um, on this side it actually flips up so you've got even more writing space here and then there's a journal card inside that I've uh, collaged and machine stitched around so that's tucked in the window envelope for those of you counting <laughs> and then here um, this opens up so now you've got a tuck spot here as well and more writing space so I love how that page came out so much fun working on that And then here is another, um, there's the other tag that I told you, using the same technique um, as the journal cover. So that's tucked in there, and just another tiny little tag. Um, the other side of the um, newsprint type bag, more uh, stitching, and then here's another pocket that I added a little nameplate and then it's just full of various uh, journal cards. <laughs> Lots of space here in this one. Uh, more handmade paper. I put one in each of the signatures. And then here some more journal cards. And then this is a really old uh, sewing book page. I love that. Uh, it's a really pretty paper. Some more uh, collaging down this side. More stenciling. I do love that image. And then here this flips out. So this is the center of the um, second signature. And then you saw me do this um, bit of collage. It's got some old trim behind there, and then I just added that little, that's a um, part of Tracy's tiny embellishment kit. I use that kit all the time. <coughs> Here I've just made a little paper clip, some more things for my stash, and there's that beautiful bird image. I love that journal card. And let's see, then you've got uh, this little journal card here, and then another little tag tucked in there, and this is some more of that old uh, piano roll paper. And then this was just left over from the um, what I was collaging with, so I've just inked it up as just a bit of extra uh, writing space, and that's been tucked in there. And this is some more collaging down that the edge of that page. Um, more lined paper here. And this is one of um, Artie May's free envelopes. Isn't that beautiful? So that has been clipped on. And you can do more writing in that or you could uh, glue that together and use it as an envelope. Um, some more collaging. Some more of the uh, tracing paper. I love that tracing paper. I love the sound of that. And then here I've got another journal card tucked in this embellished pocket. And then I just did a little snippet there with bits and pieces. And then here I just did a tiny little um, collage to edge with one of the flowers that I like to put. And then that's a nice big tag in that pocket. And then on this one, this is another the Edith Holden um, book pages. So I've just turned it into an envelope. There's nothing in it, but it's been tucked up in here. And then I just added this old uh, vintage button to the paper clip. So that really looks pretty. And some more stenciling. And then this is another uh, pocket there. I haven't put anything in it because it's just getting so full. 
um, some more of my uh, fabric ruffle. And then this is uh, a flip up here so you can do more journaling. And then the back of it is this big tag tucked in here. So there it is, guys. Wow. I, I did not, you know, plan on this one becoming so big, but it just seemed to keep growing and growing and growing. And I'm not kidding. I just love the way this one feels. It's um, really nice in your hands. And you know, I've got a thing about um, the journals. I really like them to feel good in my hands. So I'm happy with how that came out. I love that technique. I'm really so glad that uh, Yvonne shared that with us so that we could play around with it and turn it into a journal cover. So that's it, guys. Um, this is going to be for sale in my shop. So if you are interested in purchasing this, you can, in the description box below, you'll find my uh, the link to my website. Um, so I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll be back again soon. Take care. Bye.